Hello everybody. Today I'm here with my uh, 1985 uh, Toyota pickup truck. Uh, a lot of you uh, Toyota fans really like these trucks because it was last year the solid axle trucks. Uh, this is a four wheel drive model. Um, it's kind of my new toy. Um, not had it that long. Had about a year I guess and, and done a few mods to it. But anyway it came time to paint this thing up so uh, just, just kind of uh, getting ready to finish this paint job up. I want to tell you a little bit about what I did. I uh, started with, uh, with uh, uh, it had been painted once before, so I ended up basically sanding all that paint off. I cut a bunch of rust out of this thing, I'll show you those spots in a minute. Um, cut it out, uh, we welded some metal in, a little filler, smoothed it all out, uh, and it worked out real nice. Uh, then we, after we did the, the metal, I uh, ended up uh, you know, sanding it all down to, uh, I started with probably 80 grit and worked my way up to about 400 grit and then I uh, primed it with a 2k urethane primer uh, sanded that down with, with 400 to get all the spots out and then I, uh, I bought uh, Eastwood's uh, single stage urethane paint ordered it online and uh, I shot it myself and that's kind of what we're going to talk about and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do uh, what I'm going to do today to try to make this thing look a whole lot better so first I'm going to show you uh, the, the way I did my paint job and explain to you what I did wrong because I'm a lot better at learning about what I did wrong and what I did right. Um, we used the, uh, uh, this Campbell Hossville gun. I think it came from like Northern Tool or somewhere like that. Um, and you know it, it, it worked great. It's a pretty good gun. Uh, I think the biggest problem with the gun was actually me. I'm not really good at using it. So uh, I got online and I checked out um, Eastwood's uh, spec sheet on the that paint, and it said you're supposed to have like eight or nine pounds of tip pressure. I believe you want to check that if you're going to use that paint. But you can pull the sheet up. Um, so I was trying to control my pressure and uh, end up getting a ton of orange peel. The whole truck was orange peeled badly. It was not good at all. Uh, so basically I sanded it down again with 400, sanded all that uh, red uh, that I shot down and then I had a friend come over who's got a lot more experience with painting and uh, he kind of showed me what I did wrong and, and fixed it up for me. Um, one of the things he did a lot different than I did is he had a lot more pressure and he worked a lot faster. Uh, he, he really moved a lot quicker and he kept the gun um, I noticed one of the big things was the gun was only about that far away from the uh, uh, about this far away from the, the truck the whole time and uh, that really seemed to be where I was probably back here sometimes he was he was a lot closer so maybe that will help somebody else keep it close and move quickly and run run higher pressures he added the compressor set at about 80 pounds of pressure uh, on the on the compressor um, so he shot it for me and uh, and helped me a lot, and um, it really worked out nice. Also with that uh, Eastwood uh, single stage urethane paint uh, that I've had, this is probably I put three coats on it. Of course, my coats were no good, um, and then he put he had enough paint left over to do two more coats, and his his coats of paint were a lot better than mine. So what we want to look at right now though is that is this paint surface. I think you can tell pretty good that it's got these tiny little it's not orange peel but it's it's basically dust on this top layer because I mean you can see that my garage here my dad's garage uh, and we have a wood stove in here and I mean it's got ash and you get that so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do some color sanding and some buffing I'm gonna try a couple things first I'm gonna try just to use the buffer and use the uh, medium cutting uh, and I'm going to use, um, let's see if I can find it here to show you what I've got. Yeah, here we go. I've got a, uh, uh, a final glaze cut, which is, uh, you know, uh, which is at a number five on the scale as far as heavy cut, uh, light cut. I've got a swirl remover, 
which is a, a three and then we have this machine glaze which is a one I may not even end up needing these two but I'm gonna try to get the the stuff off with this try a spot and if that doesn't work then I'm gonna go to um, probably uh, 2000 grit sandpaper and uh, and sand it um, and then come back with 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 some of the uh, the fine cut cleaner um, that's what I'm gonna try today and uh, see what we can get this truck looking good oh I was gonna show you a couple of the spots that we we fix the uh, the rust on uh, most of you Toyota guys know that this part right here um, on this back part uh, right under the extended cab window is notorious for rusting out and of course this one had rusted out a hole about this big when we cut it out and put some metal back in there and then finish it in with a little little um, body filler also uh, right in here um, was all rusted out fix that with some metal and then pretty much the same thing on this uh, this spot and then right here uh, below the below the extra cab window uh, again it's an 85 a Toyota four-wheel drive pickup truck and I'm going to try to do a lot of things to this truck and I've got pictures of it uh, before and after and during and I'm going to try to attach the still photos to this uh, to this video for anybody else that might be interested in these trucks or interested in the single stage uh, paint from Eastwood see what we can do with it anyway this is Sam uh, thanks for watching and good luck